Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we're looking at the small sample pad of Strathmore Toned Blue Mixed Media Paper. I actually don't like the colour, not because it's Strathmore, but I have big problems drawing on grey-ish toned paper. So this will be interesting. This is 10 sheets, but there aren't any more because I used them. Acid-free, 30% post-consumer fibre and it is for wet and dry media. It is 300 GSM, which is 184 pounds. The sizing is 4 by 6 inches or 10.2 by 15.2 centimeters. So it's not too small and not too big. And this is what the paper looks like. Not quite grey, not quite blue, it's more of a warm grey. But <laughs> to me it's still grey. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what it is about this because I have tried drawing on coloured paper before and I haven't really had a problem but when it comes to grey I have a problem. I don't like grey in general, I have to say. I guess it's because I'm such a colourful person. Okay, guys. Let's see what we can come up with. Might be a possibility of a time lapse. I'm not sure. So, I have got... I think it's called a strawberry finch bird on my other phone that I'm going to use as reference. And I'm using a propelling uh, mechanical pencil. I call it propelling pencil, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> You just want to draw very lightly. I usually need a few goes at getting it right. So you need to go very, very lightly so that you're not denting the surface of the paper so that you can then erase it quite easily. It will be hard for you, no doubt, to see it on screen because of it being basically grey. And then I'm going to start to use my friction pens, I think. This is in blue, but ideally it should be red. And I do have red ones. I've just got to look for them in my pencil case.
it's not going to be perfect it's just a rough kind of drawing basically and just how I want to draw it or just how it comes out really I would say there's no wrong or right way of drawing just do what you like how you like I think I will start doing some shading with, or just adding some colour with this Pilot Friction pen. Depends. Well, I might get my Poscas, I think. It's all about uh, trying things, and if you don't like the look of it, try something else. Again, I find with this paper, ink seeps into the surface and then the surface is left behind with a kind of pale pastel effect. It's no longer vivid. I don't think I like it. It is a vellum surface, so pencil will work quite well. It will slip over the surface, apparently. So though this is mixed media, it's probably really only meant for pencil. We will just try that theory.
Alright, let's download this. Well, we do the best we can. So I thought I would probably just stick with these pens and not bother with the Posca patterns because anything I use is soaking in, if you see what I mean. It's not on the surface being vivid. So the colour is going to be different anyway, no matter what I use. It will be paler. But we'll see if going on top with this pen makes a difference. But at the moment it looks to me pinky and not red. And like the black pencil is looking more grey than dark black. Like a very dark charcoal. -y. It's not exactly black black. And we see here, I can get very black black with this pencil, so I know it's not the pencil. On this white, the back of the paper, you see, it is definitely very black. But, so I said, that's why I don't really get on with this kind of paper. You have to press quite hard because it's almost like a wax that you're fighting against to uh, I tell you, coloured pencils can really give you this take, particularly on this paper, <laughs> because you really, really have to fight against the tone of the paper. And this surface, it was probably likely is, because I know a lot of people do like the grey toned papers particularly for graphite drawings. But I don't think I'm going to be there yet.
then I'm going to use my Posca pen that I keep in my pencil case. It is the thin one. I think it's the 1M PC1M. 0.7mm. Give it a shake because I haven't used this in a while. And it's a thin one, which is perfect for this kind of drawing. Now this is coming out really, really vibrant and opaque. It does interest me, using different art supplies together. So even though I didn't get on with this paper, this pen is working the best that I've seen it because it's still, Poscas are not as opaque as I would like. I can tell you these dots are not going to be exact. <laughs> Please don't expect them to be a mirror copy because they're not going to be. I'm just doing near as down to what I can see. I'm hoping you would recognise this if you saw it out. You can see what I mean about this Posca. It's not as opaque here. So I go back over it again. too dotty with this and overdo it with the dots so I'm stopping there we'll just finish putting in the branch it is resting on
I think I'm going to leave it there because if I do any more, I will ruin it. So considering all my moaning and my groaning and not liking this paper at all because of the colour, I think this has turned out much better than I thought it was going to. My criticisms, the beak is probably a little bit too fat, but I think you'd recognise this bird if you saw it out. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>